Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC True Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking heroes. We talking about that series finale of WandaVision, y'all. And I gotta tell you, man, I love the whole show. I love the concept, and they put a nice little bow on it to end this run. So I had to make a video. Three things I loved about the WandaVision series finale, man, and they just had me hooked man they had me hooked like a crackhead or something man i was more impressed than that random african dude on the internet oh my god wow. i was more impressed than will smith at the end of every bad boys movie now that's how you supposed to shoot from now on that's how you shoot i was more impressed than black lightning was when he got his new suit Basically, I'm saying, y'all, I was impressed. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, guys, just to start this off, I want to say I will be talking spoilers. Okay, I will be talking spoilers. So check out the episode on Disney Plus first, then come holler at your boy. All right, the first thing on my list on why I think this Caesar series, I keep saying season, series finale was awesome is the fights man it was awesome just to see two characters from the mcu that could fly and fight this is probably the closest to a superman fight we're going to get you know most of the mcu fights are terrestrial they're on the ground they're hand to hand and there's nothing wrong with that but it was nice to see two characters take to the sky and go at it vision versus white vision that was an awesome fight vision not holding back the best vision fight in all the movies ever really you know the most entertaining fight the beam blast all those things were on point it was just very satisfying to watch and something the show needed since it was so story driven you get what i'm saying um i would love to see that um wanda was able to take to the skies as well we saw what she could do probably in infinity war definitely in game but she took it to a whole nother level sustaining flight for longer periods of time than i've ever seen her do you get what i'm saying she's really you know unlocked this whole new level of power she's getting the hang of this whole scarlet witch thing on the fly i love how she did the little bootleg hell zone grenade <laughs> shout out to my boy piccolo from dragon ball z yeah scarlet witch that was a smooth move with the little incantations putting it on the side of the world that you created old girl couldn't use her powers i love how they outsmart enemies you know when heroes outsmart enemies that was awesome man the second reason why i love this finale and thought it was just so memorable and so good overall was the acting ability of elizabeth olsen she really deserves an emmy give her the emmy y'all man because i'm telling you she loves the hell out of that daggone robot don't she goodness gracious boy man i gotta tell you man her performance not just this episode but all season long has been so authentic my boy that plays vision he's been doing the daggone thing too but elizabeth has just been on a whole nother level to make this show feel so personal so relatable it feels like a tragedy you get what i'm saying you know her ending the episode just in that empty house plot you get what I'm saying? Towards the end of the episode, not the very end, but in the empty house plot where the whole situation began was just so sad, man. It was such an emotional story, and that's why it's memorable, man. That's why it's epic. Not everything has to be knocked down, drawn out action, baby. It was just a really good story. Superhero stories are human stories, and this is a representation of that, man. And when she had to sit there and kiss Vision for the last time and watch him die again, man, and she told that man before he died that <laughs> you're the part of the mind stone that lives within me, man, I was in the house like, man, I'm telling you, it just hit you right in the ticker, man, right in the ticker. The emotional performances for this show were on point and it just makes sense for them to have the after credit scene with her not letting this go still searching for a way to bring her kids back still searching for a way to bring vision back and you know 
I don't know if she knows white vision is out there. You get what I'm saying? Or even the right vision now. Is he? Is he different? Does he still love her? Why haven't he? Why hasn't he went to find her? You know, it's so many questions they have to answer. And I'm pretty sure they're going to answer that in the Doctor Strange sequel. So, you know, they plant a lot of seeds, man. They got me hyped. I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for the MCU to return, baby. The final reason why I love this episode was the upgrade to the suit, man. That Scarlet Witch's suit in the MCU has always been kind of goofy. It's been a little silly. Like, it look, it, it's done the job, but it kind of looks like a regular outfit. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, she, like she going to the club or something. You know what I'm saying? Ladies get in free before 10 or something. You get what I'm saying? So I was glad that they upgraded her with something that looked like body armor, but still looked like something that a witch would wear. Still looked like her style i love that also it had mad 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 magneto vibes you get what i'm saying that was one of the only things i loved about x-men apocalypse was the design of magneto's suit and they basically took his design and ran with it man they even made the little crown on her head look tough and look good you get what i'm saying so i love the upgrade to the suit they even showed her in a hoodie you know when she was flying away from westview i thought that was dope so I can't wait to see this character evolve even more because her power levels are out of this world. And they hinted that she's even stronger than Doctor Strange now, than the Sorcerer Supreme. I don't know if y'all caught that. So, man, I'm curious, man. Is is she and Doctor Strange going to have a knockdown, drag out fight before, you know, they join each other in whatever quest they're doing over the multiverse? Man, I don't know what's going to happen, man. All I know is I'm excited. So with all that, all those things considered, everything I told you so far, I had to give this show a 9.5 out of 10, baby. It deserved it. I couldn't quite give it the 10 because I want to see more from Monica Rabo, but that's understandable because the show is called WandaVision and Monica Rabo is a Captain Marvel 2 character. So they're probably saving her, you know, knock down, drag out fights for that platform and that film, which is understandable. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Check out the other videos on the channel, the superior playlist, most definitely. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.